Ellen breaks her silence about losing her show, plus issues an apology. Hi, welcome to JOA. If new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. So unless you've been living under a rock, Ellen DeGeneres' career is under term oil. There's been enormous complaints about just discrimination, sexual harassment. There's celebrities coming out talking about Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, one specifically that happened months ago was a transgender named Nikki Tutorial who complained about uh, Ellen DeGeneres' uh, team not uh, allowing her to have a private bathroom, but yet the Jonas Brothers had a private bathroom. And it's just a whole bunch of, of, of people out there uh, talking about Ellen DeGeneres. And I'm long overdue about this video. I mean, I was going to make a video about this, and this this video is not going to be all glitzy and glamoured. I just kind of just want to put my two cents on the whole situation. I'm personally not surprised that this is coming out. Um, I actually knew Ellen DeGeneres was like this, and I may make another video revealing why I knew about this, but let me just say this. Uh, me personally working in a news industry, a lot of people aren't the way they seem on television versus in reality. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. Um, Ellen actually issued a bogus apology. Um, and she made a statement about it. Let me see. Let me try to pull it up here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. This woman goes come on now i'm waiting for this to pull up i'm sorry y'all i'm just i'm just exhausted and tired this woman writes hey everybody it's ellen on day one of our show i told everyone in our first meeting that the ellen and generous show must be a place of happiness no one would ever raise their voice and everyone would be treated with respect obviously something changed and i am disappointed to learn that this has not been the case and for that i am sorry anyone who knows me knows it is the opposite of what i believe and what i hope for our show okay so, you are in double digit seasons. I don't really know what season she's on. I think she's on, what, season 15? And the way she starts her apology or her, I guess, I don't know what this is. To me, this is not even an apology. But she goes on day one of our show. I told everyone in our first meeting. Okay. So, what I'm reading when I see this is that you're just being aware about this whole situation girl please sit down please ellen please have several seats there's no way that you could be on close to 20 years and not know anything about your show being the way it is and i don't want to hear andy lasner who's basically your executive producer show pony you know he likes to be on camera and stuff like that i don't want to hear from him i don't want to hear from your executive producers and i'm sure a lot of people are gonna get fired I don't want to hear from I don't want to hear from no body statements. I wholeheartedly believe the story. Um, I wholeheartedly believe Ellen is not the way she is on camera. I mean, there's people from her former security guard to people who've been on her show to people who worked with her to people who've been interviewed by her. A whole bunch of people are saying that Ellen's be kind to one another quote that she says at the end of the show is a whole bunch of bogus. And I personally do believe that number one and number two. I think that Ellen is a cultural vulture, an effing culture vulture. Like, literally anyone that's super famous, she wants to interview them. She wants to be on her show. She wants to, she, she wants to kiss their ass. You know what I mean? And that's one thing I don't like about her is she's an ass kisser. Point blank, period. And at least Wendy is a freaking piranha, which I, I tweeted her on Twitter. At least Wendy is a piranha on and off camera. At least we know who she truly is. And uh, she doesn't post this whole baloney on and off camera. And Scooter Braun, who's basically uh, a music manager for Demi Lovato, Justin Bieber, and Ariana Grande, came to defense uh, for Ellen DeGeneres. And this is what this cow said, you know, defending her. Um, you know, that man just rubs me off the wrong way. I don't like him. This man... <laughs> 
said, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm totally not prepared for this, and I'm just like, I'm just tired. This bogus dude, where is his tweet? Did he delete his tweet? Hold on. Where is, he probably deleted it. Did he delete his tweet? How come I can't, hold on. This bogus dude. <sighs> okay. People love to take shots at people. They love to see people fall. How quickly so many forget the Ellen Show is a kind, thoughtful, courageous human being who stands for what is right and highlights on her show the best of us. She has helped change the views for equality. Ne needed to say that, as I know firsthand, how she helps so many when we are watching and we when we are not. She isn't about what is popular. <laughs> She's about what is right. Saying love to Ellen Bull. BS. She is about what is popular. All them damn celebrities you have on your show. Yours included. Ariana Grande. Demi Lovato. Justin Bieber. So of course you're going to defend her because you need... She's she's a friend to the clients that you serve, Mr. Scooter Braun. She isn't about what is popular. BS. Number one. Number two. Like I said, the woman is... I don't know. I just find her to be fake as hell. And Scooter Braun, you are not about equality because the word on the street is... Tadra Call, who's best friends to Taylor Swift, was once signed under you, and you made allegedly homophobic remarks, and you ruined his singing career, allegedly. So, y'all, like, this is, this is aggravating. I really just don't, this video is all over the place. And, you know, Ellen's not really the only one that's done this. Um, I remember there was a story about Steve Harvey about he does just he doesn't want to be bothered and he doesn't want you know people knocking on his door and so on and so forth he don't want people to talk to him okay like you can be an a-hole but if you are in a if you are working at a place that's supposed to be all disney like and peaches and cream but yet it's branded another way then that's bogus ellen this is your brand and your brand is being ruined and as a boss woman, you should know every single thing that's going on in your show. Hell, you're like what? You're you're worth like two hundred plus million dollars, woman. You should at least have a brand strategist, a brand personnel working for your company, somebody, a supervisor, somebody that can go around each show, make sure everybody's okay, make sure people are in good hands and stuff. But you don't. You don't know anything that's going on. Just like how when Demi Lovato was on your show, you just found out six years later that each time she made an appearance on your show, which in fact she made an appearance like 11 times, you were finally told on her 11th time on her show three, four months ago that producers were told by her management that they wanted them to get rid of all of Sugar Candy. How the hell did you know, not know that at first? You see what I mean? So that tells me um, you're not on top of your game. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. And you just need to get it together. You need to get it together. And um, I'm not surprised about all of these allegations. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah.